Right, Steve, there seems to be a lot of conversation around the principles of loading copper bullets. What are the main differences in loading copper bullets compared to what you might be used to doing? I think the, the first and most important one is that with jacketed lead projectiles, most people are used to uh, developing their uh, powder charges first and then setting their seating depths. With copper projectiles, copper projectiles need a longer jump to what you're used to using, which means that you really should be starting at around about a 50th hour jump or 1.27 millimetres and finishing normally between 50 and 60th hour jump and then you work out your powder charge. So it's kind of back to front to uh, jacketed lead projectiles. Jacketed lead, you start with powder charge and then set your jump. With copper bullets, you set your jump first at 50 thou and start there and then work on your, uh, your powder charge and you're going to be very very close uh, to your ideal position that's the first and foremost the second one is that copper bullets like jacketed lead bullets are each unique to themselves uh, so they all have a different shot start initiation pressure and the, sh the, the shot start initiation pressure is the um, the amount of force required to dislodge the projectile from the case and engage it into the lens into the, you know, of the chamber, or in the throat I should say. And that's going to vary from bullet to bullet regardless of the type and style. However, a jacketed uh, lead bullet can tolerate a shorter jump. A copper bullet will always need the longer jump and a 50 thou jump is always a place to start with a copper bullet regardless of who manufactured it. But I think the most important thing is to understand is that because copper bullets vary within themselves so much more uh, than uh, jacketed lead bullets, it's, and by that I mean first, second and third generation copper bullets, it's really important that if you choose to use a copper bullet that you follow the manufacturer's instructions because the shot start initiation pressure from a third generation uh, copper bullet will, will be approximately around the 3600 PSI. Some of the first generation copper, uh, copper bullets can have a shot start uh, initiation pressure exceeding 6000 PSI. Because of those massive differences, it's really important that you follow the manufacturer's uh, load recommendations.